exact multicollinearity. Now, what, what does exact multicollinearity means? If two or more independent variables, they have linear relation, or they have more or less exact relation among them, we have the problem of exact or perfect multicollinearity. Okay, so, so let us try to prove this. So in deviation form, in deviation form, your multiple linear regression model could be written as lowercase yt equals to beta 2 x 2t plus beta 3 x 3t plus ut. If you have a problem in understanding what is this deviation form model and how do we get this, I, I advise you to go back to one of the recordings in which we have derived this. Huh? So, and u hat t is basically y t minus y hat t. Remember that these are in the deviation form. But y hat t is basically beta 2 hat x 2 t plus beta 3 hat x 2 3. So minus y hat t would be beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t. Fine. This is there. And u hat t square could be written as y t minus y hat t square is equal to y t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t whole square. Okay, you can just put the summation sign here. Solve this in this. Huh? And you want to get the value for beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat. So this becomes del of summation u hat t square with respect to beta 2 hat, which is equal to 2 summation y t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t into minus x 2 t equals to 0 which could be written as summation of y t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t into x 2 t. Remember all of them are deviations from mean. There are, they are in deviation form. Summation y 2 x 2 t minus beta 2 hat summation x 2 t square minus beta 3 hat summation x 2 t x 3 t equals to 0. You can even write this as in the last simplest form is summation y 2 x 2 t equals to beta 2 hat summation of x 2 t square plus beta 3 hat. Clear? So it is this. Let's say this becomes your first equation. So this becomes your first equation. And similarly, when you differentiate del of summation u hat t square by del of beta 3 hat, huh, you will be getting this equation. I'm not repeating the same thing but you will be getting this expression which is summation of y t x 3 t is equal to beta 2 hat x 2 t x 3 t plus beta 3 hat 
x three t square this becomes your second equation okay now see what happens now see supposedly there is an exact relation sorry suppose there is an exact relation between x3 and x2 so it is x3 equals to 4x2 supposedly if this is the thing what you can do is that you can substitute this x3 equals to 4x2 into the second equation what will you get is summation yt in place of x3 what will you do you will write 4x2 Hmm. x2 t you can write well you can even get away with these t subscripts but since we are writing it so keep on writing that beta 2 hat is equal to x2 t in place of x3 t you will write 4 x2 t plus beta 3 hat is equal to summation of x3 t into this is actually you could have written 4x 2t square but that won't serve our purpose so you can write x 3t into x 3t and in place of one of the x 3t you will write 4x 2t huh so solving it you will be getting 4 4 will come out of the summation sign it will be yt x 2t is equal to 4 will come out of the summation sign you will have x2 t x3 t oh so sorry this should be x2 t square plus again 4 will come out of the summation sign you will have beta 3 hat x2 t x3 t hmm simplifying it you'll be getting summation of y t x 2 t because 4 will get cancelled out by taking out common so you will have beta 2 hat beta 3 hat like this but what exactly is this? This is same as your first equation which you have which you have taken from here. So this is let me just copy it down for you guys here so that you can compare it. This equation which you have got after substitution is same as the first equation, the first normal equation. So can you find out two unknowns which are beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat from just one equation is that possible for you no so you cannot find out you cannot find out two unknowns beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat from just one equation and this is the problem of exact multicollinearity that in case if you have two variables which are almost linearly related huh, then it doesn't let you find out the two unknowns because your two equations they get reduced to only one equation and it, there is no way to find out a solution to two unknowns from just one equation thanks